Another factor that affects pKa we're going to see here is size. And the rule is the larger the conjugate base, the stronger the acid. Let me show you how to use this rule. For instance, let's see which one is a stronger acid, HI or HF. And let's look at each one's acid reaction here. If HI behaves as an acid, this is what we would get. If HF behaves as an acid, this is what we would get. And like we've done in other examples, let's compare their relative conjugate bases. And using this rule of thumb, we should know that the I conjugate base is greater in size and the F conjugate base is less in size. Remember, the size of an atom increases as you go from the top right corner of the periodic table down to the bottom left corner of the periodic table. And since I is located a lot more rows down from F, he is a lot bigger than F. So that means this is the more stable conjugate base and F is the less stable conjugate base. And what that implies is the top reaction is therefore more favored and the bottom reaction is less favored. Since this is the case, HI gives up his H plus more readily than HF. That makes him the stronger acid with the lower pKa. Now, that's using the rule of thumb and that's how I want you to do it on an exam. But let's learn why this is the case. If you were to place I, let's say, next to F, we would see that the I atom, of course, is much bigger than the F atom. What that means, basically, is that the I orbital would be bigger, of course, than the F orbital. And what this enables is for the I, it enables the electrons to more spread out from each other. Remember, electrons are negatively charged and they repel each other. So if they can get further away from each other, that's more stable. Whereas with the F atom, the electrons don't have as much room to get away from each other. That means the I is more stable and the F is less stable. This is why the acid HI has the more stable conjugate base. However, some of you might be wondering, but isn't F more electronegative than I? And isn't one of the factors that affect pKa is electronegativity? We saw in a previous online lecture that HF was a stronger acid than H2O, and that's because the F minus has a greater electronegativity, and O minus has less electronegativity. So it begs the question, on an exam, what should I use, electronegativity or size? Well, remember, during the online lecture for this example, we said that electronegativity helps us when the atoms are of similar size. And think about this. Let's look at the periodic table here. If you were to locate F and oxygen, this is where they would be. They would be located on the same row. And if you remember from general chemistry, atoms located on the same row have roughly the same size. So that means the F minus and the O minus are similar in size. However, let's place I on our periodic table of elements. Notice he's located much further down on the chart, which means he's much bigger. So that means if you're going to compare the conjugate base of I to F, you can't use the electronegativity rule because they have different sizes. Instead, simply you will use the size rule. So that's why in this case, HI is the stronger acid with the lower pKa. So what's our key point here? One of the factors that affect pKa, one is size. The larger the conjugate base, the stronger the acid.